its slogan is the news is back in the morning and CBS this morning lives up to that. No cooking segments, wacky weather forecasters or cheering outdoor fans. CBS this morning is all news. We got a chance to go behind the scenes of Studio 57 as we continue our unique New York tour. Good morning. It is two. Studio 57 is a busy place at 7 o'clock in the morning, and so is the control room. Go on six. Q Gale, ready one. So you may be a fan of ketchup or mustard, maybe you like relish. The original CBS This Morning made its debut in 1987, and many incarnations and anchors and hosts later, it seems the network has finally found its place in the morning. Debuting on January 9th, 2012, in brand new digs. Many critics at first questioned the anchor lineup. Charlie Rose, Nora O'Donnell, and Gail King. Those critics were quickly silenced. You didn't need the work. No, I didn't. How'd they, how'd they talk you into it? What was, what was the... I did not need the work. What was the key Well, thing? I mean, I, I tell Nora and Gail that, that the reason that I did it, because who would not, uh, who would, in fact, turn down the opportunity to work with Nora and, and with Gail? The philosophy is the news is back in exactly. the morning news. You're yeah. not cooking or carving pumpkins on no, this show. No. Why is that important? Well, I think it's important because uh, it, it began at the top. Jeff Fager is the chairman of CBS News and executive producer. He's always believed that the news properly told uh, with engagement and with good reporting uh, is, is a very, very interesting thing to tell people. So, and it matched CBS's news, is tradition, a long tradition, going back to Murrow and Cronkite and, and so many very good people. And he wanted to identify with that uh, and say, we're here to tell you what's going on in the world. We laugh, we have fun, uh, we enjoy each other. There's certain chemistry that, that we think that have turned out to be work very well for us. But it's the CBS tradition. Uh, and we've got all these resources, these very good storytellers. And in the end, what we're all doing is telling stories. This is the thing that's such a high for me. I'm such a news junkie. You know, I anchored the news in Hartford for eight, over 18 years, and I was in Kansas City for three years before that. So I really like knowing what's going on in the world. And it is such a high that sometimes when people turn on the TV, we are the first person to tell them something they don't know. They go to bed, and every, the world is one way, and they wake up, and it could be a totally different thing, and we get to be the first ones to tell them. How awesome is that? It's an amazing time in my life to be able to do this. And I, I lived in Turkey as a, as a kid from uh, first grade to sixth grade in Ankara, Turkey. Wow. And so we didn't have television, nobody did then. So we were voracious readers, I used to read a lot. But when I came back to the States in seventh grade, we had to watch the news, uh, an edict by my dad, and we had to watch Walter Cronkite. And I thought, this is so boring, oh my God, oh, why do we have to sit and watch this? So it's ironic to me, it's a full cir circle moment, that all these years later, I'm sitting in CBS, in the studio where Walter Cronkite's map is, I'm sitting here and I'm reading the news. Now my, the hair on my neck is up. I know, I feel that too. My dad died when I was a freshman in college and it's my big regret that he never got to see this. He would have gotten such a kick out of this. Yeah. I know, you know, you're right, Susan, he does. He sees you. You're right, you're right. Gail, thank, thank you so much. You. Continued thank success. you guys, yeah. thank you Great. for coming. That does it for us. Up next, your local news. We'll see you tomorrow on CBS This Morning. And Gail King, uh, she has th three small children, and she had some parenting. Nora O'Donnell. I mean, Nora O'Donnell. She yeah. has three small children, so she had some parenting issues to deal with. So she didn't have time to sit and talk with us, but she came over and said hello. And she has us. a six-year-old and five-year-old twins. Twins, yeah. Wow. She's, she's busy. Yeah, she's very busy, plus doing uh, anchoring this morning show. They're Wasn't all, it fun? Yeah, all great people. Wonderful people, them. warm and generous, and that is one of the most beautiful sets I've ever seen. Yeah. How about that control room, too? I hope that was a treat <laughs> for all of you at home to see that, because yeah. you don't normally get to see a network control room. Yeah, very nice stuff. Yeah. All right.